Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here at Aldi. I'm actually here at this new Aldi that they just built up in the area. It's actually a really nice store. I'm here for the $10 challenge. You guys requested Aldi. So I'm here with my mom. Now we are going to be making a homemade chicken salad with some uh, Spanish style rice. So I only have $10 to spend. So let me go and show you guys what ingredients we're gonna need. It's a super simple recipe. Um, it's really filling. It's going to feed a family of six to eight and it is super delicious. It's been a dish that my mom has been making for years in our family. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's go ahead to the produce area. Okay, so I'm over here in the poultry aisle and the only, the best deal that me and my mom can find is this value pack um, chicken breast. Now it's priced at $6.55, a dollar and 79 a pound. So I might have to go a little bit over my budget, maybe $12.00. Um, because we really only need about two or three of these breasts, but it's not really worth it to buy the smaller packs. So I am going to go ahead and get this big pack of chicken breast. Um, so this could technically, you can get two meals out of this. So I'm still hoping I can stand on my $10 budget, but if not, I do not want to go over 12. Okay, so we just need a small can of tomato sauce. How many ounces is that one? Eight ounces. Eight ounces. And it's only 26 cents, so that's a really good price. And then um, you're going to need some long grain rice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get a bag of long grain rice. I think it's in the other aisle. Okay, so we got a bag of the long grain rice. It's $1.89, but it's a 48 ounce bag. So I think that's worth it. Okay, so now we need mayo. Okay, you guys, um, so you're just going to need a mayo. Uh, we get best foods at the house. This price at three dollars and forty-eight cents. I'll put on the screen if there's a coupon because a lot of the times we do get a coupon for best foods and Hellman's. Um, I'm not going to pick one up though since we have a lot of mayo at the house, but that is definitely something you are going to need. Um, now I'm going to go get us a head of iceberg lettuce. Okay, you guys. So I'm back at the house, and um, so. I do have some mayo in here. I didn't purchase mayo at Aldi because we had some. You're gonna need about a cup of mayo. And then I'm using three of the chicken breasts that we bought in the family pack. So uh, you can use the other breast for a different meal. And we got our white rice, our little can of tomato sauce. And then uh, I didn't purchase an onion at Aldi, but you can go ahead and purchase an, uh, an onion. We're gonna use half of this, diced up really small for our Spanish rice. And then um, in a pot over here, I have some water. Um, this is just some cold water that I'm going to go ahead and season so I can boil our chicken and uh, make a good chicken broth. And then for our lettuce, I have our iceberg lettuce over here. Uh, what my mom did was she took the core out of the middle and she washed the layers and then she just has it over here drying. So it has to be completely dry so that it doesn't water down our mayo, uh, our, yeah, our mayonnaise. Okay, so this part is really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and season up our chicken broth. Now I'm using uh, granulated garlic, granulated onion, some pepper, and some salt. That's it. So you have to make sure you put a good amount so that your water is nice and seasoned. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the garlic. A good, probably about a tablespoon in there. Seasoning, okay, my mom said you can also put seasoning and salt. Okay, some onion, some salt, a good pinch, you want your chicken super flavorful because this dish is, uh, it's basically just chicken, lettuce, and mayonnaise, so the main star is the chicken, and some good pepper, I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Put this on a medium flame. And then uh, once it gets hot, mom, I'll put the chicken in. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and taste the water, make sure it's nice and seasoned. And then um, if it is, I'm going to go ahead and throw in my three chicken breasts and I'm going to go ahead and bring them up to a boil until they're fully cooked. And then I will show you guys the next step. Okay, so the I tasted the water. It's good. I added a little bit more salt. 
and then um, a little bit more pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken breasts. Now these are already washed. My mom washed them and put them in a separate Ziploc for me. <clears throat> okay, so our chicken has came to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to a simmer. Put the lid on. And then over here, I have our iceberg, iceberg lettuce. It's already washed. Um, now, if you guys have a salad spinner, uh, definitely use that to get the lettuce as dry as possible. I've just been using a napkin, and I went ahead and just shredded it with my fingers, just so you have normal, you know, some big size pieces like that. Some bite sized pieces, I mean. And then that is it for the lettuce. And you're gonna need a medium size saute pan for the rice. We're going to do two cups of white rice. We're going to use this can of tomato sauce. Over here I have half of a medium onion diced up um, as best as I could. So that is ready to go. And um, yeah, so everything's good. I'm just going to go ahead and let the chicken boil for a little bit longer. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so our chicken has came to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to a simmer. Put the lid on. And then over here, I have our iceberg, iceberg lettuce. It's already washed. Um, now, if you guys have a salad spinner, uh, definitely use that to get the lettuce as dry as possible. I've just been using a napkin, and I went ahead and just shredded it with my fingers, just so you have normal, you know, some big sized pieces like that. Some bite sized pieces, I mean. And then that is it for the lettuce. And you're gonna need a medium size saute pan for the rice. We're going to do two cups of white rice. We're going to use this can of tomato sauce. Over here, I have half of a medium onion diced up um, as best as I could. So that is ready to go. And um, yeah, so everything's good. I'm just going to go ahead and let the chicken boil for a little bit longer. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so the chicken was simmering on low for about 20 minutes. Um, I, actually, I actually cracked the lid so that the water wouldn't boil over. Pulled the chicken out after 20 minutes, it's done. It's on a plate over there, cooling off. And now with this chicken broth, you wanna save it because we're gonna go ahead and use this um, with our rice. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the rice. Now you guys can use whatever oil you guys like. We like to use lard. So um, this is about two tablespoons of lard that my mom's gonna start with. She has the heat on about a uh, medium high. All right, so our oil is just heating up. My mom's gonna go ahead and do two cups. This is long grain rice. Make sure you guys do long grain. You don't have to rinse it or anything, just measure it out. And she's gonna put it in the pan and she's gonna toast it a little bit so that it gets a little bit of color and that uh, brings the flavor out a little bit. That's two cups. It's not greasy. So it's to yeah, you just want enough oil just to coat the rice. Um, you don't want it super greasy. I'm going to fire up the heat a little so it's on like a medium high. Okay. Okay, so my mom's been stirring the rice for it's been a couple minutes. Now she has two cups of rice, so she's going to do four cups of chicken broth. Um, now you guys can always do a shortcut and just go ahead and buy a rotisserie chicken if you guys want to shred that up and um, you can just use water in the rice, right? With some chicken bouillon. Uh -huh. um, but this, is, this way tastes a lot more. It tastes better with the homemade chicken stock. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. My mom's going to go ahead and add the onion. Toasted. I'm going to cook the rawness out of the onion. Sets out a good aroma, a little smell. And you guys can see that a lot of the rice got nice and brown and toasty. 
just gonna go ahead and add in tomato sauce. And you're gonna wanna cook the tomato sauce, get the raw flavor out of it. The flame is still at a medium high. Okay, so we cooked the tomato for a couple seconds. Now she's gonna go ahead and add her four cups of broth. A little bit more, is that good? I always like to do this. Oh, okay, she's gonna add a little bit in her tomato can just to get all the tomato sauce out. It's about four and a half. Uh, you turn the heat down a little bit or are you going to keep it high? No, I'm going to let it boil. Okay, so she's going to get the water up to a boil, still on the same heat. Stir let it come, it. stir it, let it get to a boil, and then she'll lower it down and put the lid on. And simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay. And then with your leftover broth, you can just let it cool down. My mom likes to put hers in a Ziploc bag and just keep it in the freezer. Secure it. Just like that. Alright, two minutes later, the water is boiling. My mom puts it all the way on low to put her lid on. And 20 minutes later, you'll have some good, nice homemade rice. And my mom wanted me to tell you guys, if you notice that your rice is getting a little too dry, you got your broth right next door, just go ahead and add a little bit more, maybe about a quarter cup at a time. Um, you don't want too much water, but then you don't want your rice to be too dry either. Because once it sits, after it cooks, you want it to sit a bit so it can dry up. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm shredding my chicken. You can either do it with two forks, just going back and forth like that. I'm doing it by hand. Um, now you're going to want your chicken completely cooled down before you add it into the lettuce or it'll wilt your lettuce down. And then, uh, like I said, you want your lettuce as dry as possible because we are going to do, I have a cup of mayo in this bowl and we're going to go ahead and stir it up with some salt and pepper and that's just going to be our sauce for our chicken salad. And uh, sometimes my mom likes to add other stuff into the salad. She'll add cucumber, celery, onion, cherry tomatoes, um, but this is just the basic way that I'm showing you guys. This is the way that I like it. I like it more plain. Okay, you guys. So what I went ahead and did is with my cup of mayo, I added a um, teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Went ahead and mixed it. Now, this is your time. If you want to add anything else, you guys can do that. I'm just showing you guys the basic way that we do it. Um, now, with the rice, my mom went ahead. Because our burner does run a little too hot, uh, even the low setting, it's still a pretty high flame. And this is long grain rice, so she went ahead and added another half a cup of chicken stock. So in total, it was two cups long grain rice to five cups of the chicken stock. So um, if you notice that your rice is getting a little too dry too fast and it's still hard, go ahead and add a little bit more broth. Alright you guys, 20 minutes later the rice is done, my mom turned off the heat. Now you're going to want to let the rice sit for about a good 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to eat it right away. Maybe about 7-8 minutes. Oh, about 7-8 minutes, she said. Um, just so that all the water evaporates in there and then we can go ahead and start our chicken salad Okay, so our chicken is completely cooled off So I went ahead and added it to the lettuce Poured in our mayo mixture and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just stir it up with a spoon I Took a little bit of the lettuce out because the bowl was a little too full um, You can always add this in later as you're eating it or you can just save it for another time Okay, so our chicken is completely cooled off so I went ahead and added it to the lettuce, poured in our mayo mixture, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, just stir it up with a spoon. I took a little bit of the lettuce out because the bowl was a little too full. Um, you can always add this in later as you're eating it, or you can just save it for another time. Alright, so that is it. We have our homemade rice. We have our homemade chicken salad. That is your $10 dinner challenge at Aldi. Now, uh, like I said, this went a little bit over, probably about $12 to $13, but I still think that's pretty good. This is a ton of food. This will easily feed six to eight people. And we have extra chicken and some extra broth, so you can go ahead and make chicken soup, whatever you guys want to do with that. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and throw up this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell button so you guys get notified whenever I post a video. I'm going to go ahead and um, upload this video and then head to CVS and do some couponing there. Now, uh, we did get some really, really good CoverGirl printable coupons on coupons.com, so go ahead and check those out, print those out. And um, I did get a lot of really good CRTs. I hope you guys did too from, CR uh, from CVS. Uh, and that is it. I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Have a good day.